Welcome to Pottery Barn Beverly Hills, where we're kicking off the summer in style. Plus, we're talking to interior designers about how they entertain. We're talking a little retail therapy and do designers shop retail? I'm Jason Oliver Nixon, and you're watching Editor TV. What makes entertaining fun and easy for you? I welcome everybody with a drink and hors d'oeuvres when they come in. I put flowers everywhere. I like lots of candles. I just like people to feel really relaxed. Put the drinks out, let people help themselves and just really enjoy the great weather and the kind of casual atmosphere that that lends, especially in the summertime. Crystal, the summer entertaining issue of Ruse coming out soon. Tell me about the issue. We're just showing our readers how you can create a really um, easy, casual, you know, dinner party for friends or family and just kind of take a little bit of um, the formality out of entertaining and make it easy for anyone. So Cassandra, tell me about summer entertaining. Do you have any tricks of the trade? I do. I think um, bright pops of color mixed with vintage fabrics, definitely taking the old with the new and putting them outdoors. I like glamour, I like drama, and I love sophistication, and I love quirky, kind of just offbeat furniture, and I love mixing it. I love spring and summer because um, it just brings everyone back outdoors again, and they get excited about freshening up their home. For you, does good design have to be expensive? No way. You know, I work on TV shows that we design rooms for $1,000. And people think it can't be done, and it absolutely can be done. You just have to know where to go, where to find it, and it can be just done like that. It's being creative. I mean, it's really being creative. It's mixing and matching and pairing things that, that typically wouldn't go together do because, you know, maybe you want to invest, you know, $1,000 in a table, but you don't then have money in chairs. It's, it's about, you know, where to go to find those inexpensive chairs. And if you know where to go and you can be creative, it'll all come together. Julie, talk to me about how you use retail versus trade products. When I accessorize a job, I oftentimes just go to um, a place like we are here tonight, Pottery Barn. Um, the accessories are readily available. Usually you have to pull more than you need and um, a lot of them do work with the trade. So when I accessorize, I like to do that. What I love about Pottery Barn is it's very, uh, they have things in stock. So I can come here at the last minute and say, what, do you, what can I have today? Talk to me about the synergy of retail and trade. Are you seeing the landscape changing? I am, you know, when I was a kid, People like my mother would go to someplace like um, B. Altman and hire a decorator. So the whole idea of retail allowing them to then see a point of view and be able to decorate around that um, has been a big movement that we've seen a lot of. The evening's winding down here at Pottery Barn Beverly Hills. It's been a great night. We've learned something. We've had some fun. We've met some new people. For Editor TV, I'm Jason Oliver Nixon.